A God bless morning to you, my sisters and brothers here in our sanctuary. And to our Facebook and live streaming families that have joined us at Our Lady of Calhibo in worshiping our Savior, Jesus Christ. On the 17th day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024, as we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Lent. Please silent all cell phones and other electronics. Le electronic devices, okay? <laughs> this Mass is offered to Mr. William Strokes through the kindness of Robert and Malene Gilbert. As we draw close to Holy Week, we hear Jesus talk about approaching death. Yet his message to his disciple, disciples is not so much about his death as it is about eternal life. During this final week, before Holy Week, let us keep in mind that just, that just as our linen journey will not end with Good Friday, but with Easter, so, so too does our own life's journey not end in death, but in new life. I ask everyone to stand and join in praising the Lord with the opening song. of our Lord to walk in the light of Christ, our God and Savior who woke us up this morning, started us on our way, brought us to this sacred place to begin this liturgy as we begin all things in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you suffered death and were raised from the dead for our eternal salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the new and everlasting covenant of love. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you restore a steadfast spirit within us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, may we walk eagerly in the same charity by which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new convent with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the convent I made with the fa their fathers. The day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my convent and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the convent that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord, for I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and my, of my sin cleanse me. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create me not from you, God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and all sinners shall return to you. Create me not from you, Reading from the a reading from the letter, to, the letter to the Hebrews, in the days when Jesus Christ was in the flesh, he offered prayers and supplications with the with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he and he was heard because of his reverence. Son, son, though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and what he was made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation. For all who obey him, the word of the Lord.
must follow me, says the Lord. And where I am, there also will my servant be. Praise, praise, Andre Glory. According to John. To you, Lord. Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip, who was from Bethsia in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. I am troubled now, yet what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this purpose I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. And a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd heard, there heard it and said that it was thunder. Mm. But others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice did not come for my sake, but for yours. Now is a time of judgment on this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And then I am lifted up from the earth. I will draw everyone to myself. He said this, indicating the kind of death he would, ha he would die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus guess it would be appropriate for me to begin my homily today by saying top of the morning to you. <laughs> Stealing that from the deacon who, who said that to me when I came into Mass today for St. Patrick's Day. So top of the morning to you. you know, we'll go from there. Um, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. Jesus says in the gospel uh, today, unless it, remain, unless it falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. One of the many blessings when we come together particularly on a Mass when it is one of our school Masses as we have more young people with us, which is a wonderful blessing and a gift from God. We also have some families with very young children with us, which is also a wonderful blessing. And sometimes those young children utter things during liturgy. <coughs> They're praising God in their own way. Amen. I could have sworn I could have sworn a few minutes ago that I heard some form of E I E I O. Yes. You knew what you were talking about. 
Old McDonald had a farm. Oh, yeah. Yes. E-I-E-I-O. Yes. Well, unless something falls to the ground and dies, mm -hmm. it remains just a grain of wheat. Well, where do we see people growing stuff? On a farm. Yeah. So thank you, young yeah. child, for reminding us of yeah. what the message is today. Today, unless something falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. It has to die so it can fall into the ground so it can become more than what it is. Amen. That's basically the message he's given us today. Everything has a purpose, a cycle, a cycle of life. And we are approaching the time of the year where things that have died a few months ago are becoming ready to bear great fruit, Amen. to produce so much for us. I'm sure you have read in the paper, there was a little picture on the front of the paper today about what is about to happen in just a couple of short months when we get visited by billions and billions of our little inch-long friends. <laughs> right, all this story about the cicadas. And not one brood, but two broods are coming. Think about this for a minute. 16 years underground, doing whatever it does underground, getting ready to burrow its way up through the dirt for six, four to six weeks of a lot of eating and some mating and some singing and some making noises mm -hmm. and then falling to the ground and dying. Mm -hmm. 16 years preparing for six weeks. But if it doesn't do that, its life cycle is disrupted. That's the life cycle for this interesting little creature that is going to inundate us in a month or so for a little while, right? For us, we have a life cycle. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, none of us have to spend 16 years underground. And I can tell you, anybody who is a mother is thankful we don't spend 16 years in the womb, huh? <laughs> Because there probably wouldn't be too many of us if, if a woman had to carry us around for 16 years before we came out, right? But we all have our own cycle. Mm -hmm. We begin as an egg and a seed, microscopic. And then we become much more than that. Some of us too much more than that. Some of us are told there should be a little less of you to love sometimes and that's something that we deal with and that's a whole other story for another day. But we grow and we develop and we change and then our cycle of life will end for all of us. Sorry to burst anybody's bubble. But eventually that will happen. And then we return to the Lord hopefully at the end of our journey. But while we're here what are we doing, my brothers and sisters? How are we living our life, my brothers and sisters? How are we making sure that when we fall to the ground and die for the last time as a human being, that we have produced a lot of fruit? That people will continue our legacy after we're gone. I thought a lot about that my brothers and sisters, in the time that we have been together, which is approaching two years as a community of faith at Our Lady of Cabello. We had to let go of what we were to become what we are. We all had to go through a death, a death of a parish that we were a part of, that we loved, that we cared about, to, we had to go through that death to be where we are so we can produce the fruit that we're producing today. 
If we did not allow that to happen, we would not be here. And now, you know what we get to do, my brothers and sisters? We get to create a legacy. Think about that. We get to create a legacy so that long after we're gone, when they're looking at the history of this place, and they talk about the people who made this place what it is, that we are those people. And so that should give us strength, it should give us joy, it should give us encouragement, and frankly, it should scare us a little, because it's a lot of pressure. But that's okay. How are we going to produce food each and every day, my brothers and sisters? And we're a week away from Holy Week. Let's pledge in our hearts and in our minds and in our souls to say, I'm going to go on this journey with Christ through Holy Week, through his passion his death, his resurrection. He knew he had to die to save the world from sin. What are we going to do, my brothers and sisters, as we continue on this journey of faith? Let's continue to hope and pray that we can produce much fruit for the now and for the future. Keep in mind that unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. Amen. Amen. During the season of Lent, of course, we pray the Apostles' Creed instead of the Nicene Creed. We are a people of faith. Let us profess that faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Confident that the Lord hears and answers our prayers, we come before him with our prayers, our needs, and our petitions. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may die to whatever separates us from the Lord. Lord, hear our We pray Lord, to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who served in elected office, <clears throat> that they may work for the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those preparing for the Easter sacraments, that they find joy in serving and following Jesus. We, pr we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our youth, that, that God will protect and keep them in his loving arms. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the canonization of Father Augustine Tillin, Mary Mother Lynch, Pierre Tutsin, Henriette Delis, Dela, Sister Thela Bowman and Julia Gilly, and for vocations from the Black Catholic community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Please, please add your own prayers out loud or silently. Good and gracious God, we know that you love us and give us all we need. We ask you to hear the prayers we offer and grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise of the Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of the sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may also deal with things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks. He said to his he gave, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. When you do this, remember me." The mystery of faith. Yeah. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mother, Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing that are passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we pray the prayer that Christ himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So I'll bring another design of peace. <laughs>
say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Church family, if you are unable to walk to the priest or Eucharistic minister to receive communion, raise your hand and a minister will come to you.
Remain seated as we pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Good morning. These are our announcements. Today is the fifth Sunday of Lent. Today's date is March 17th, 2024. My name is Kingston Wood. In the bulletin. Keeping the season for the fifth Sunday of Lent is in the bulletin. Women's Day Rosary and Tea. The ladies of court number 134 thank all of, thank all the women who attended their event yesterday and who and all, all who helped to make it a success. The diner. The diner menu for Wednesday, March 20th is pasta fagioli, beef soup, French bread, a fruit cup, and cookies. Memorial service. John Eric Rucker was called home to the Lord. He is the son of Barbara Rucker of Legacy Parish, St. Peter and Paul, St. Peter and Paul. His memorial service is Friday, March 22nd from 2 p.m. 4 p.m. 2 p.m. through 4 p.m. at the Croc Center, 1250 West 119th Street. Rest in peace. Jo- jo- Joanne Thre- Three, a former member of Legacy Parish, Holy Name of Mary, was called home to the Lord. Her service are here on Saturday, March 23rd. The visitation is at 9.30 a.m. and the funeral mass begins at 10.30 a.m. Please keep both families in your prayers. Congratulations to live to Leva Tillman, the chairperson of our parish pastoral council has been selected as one of the women to receive the Sister Thea Bowman Humanitarian Award on Saturday, March 23rd. Congratulations to Leva. More information on the website. The Credit Union. The St. Helena Parish Credit Union will hold its 40th annual meeting on Saturday, March 23rd at 12.30 p.m. At Our Lady of Cabello in the OSP Diner, all are invited. Members of the Credit Union will receive, receive committee reports and elect, uh, elect directors from 2024 through 2025. New members will have the opportunity to see how the credit union may benefit them. The meeting will close with a celebration of serving our community for 40 years. We will have raffles, games, and great food. See the information in the bulletin to RSVP. Holy Week Schedule. Palm Sunday, 324. Joint palm, joint palm service on the corner of 111th Street and Loomis Street at the third at 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 the three crosses from 9:15 through 9:50 a.m. 10 a.m. mass at the church. Holy Thursday, 3:28. There will be catered meal in the diner from 5 p.m. to 6:15. Mass begins at 7 p.m. Good Friday, 3:29. 5 p.m. Stations of the Cross, 6 p.m. Reconciliation Service begins at 7 p.m. There will be a collection for the Holy Land. Holy Saturday, 3.30. 7 p.m. Mass, there will be two collections. The first is the regular Sunday collection, and the second is the Easter collection. Easter Sunday, 3.31. 10 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m., there will be two collections. The first is the regular Sunday collection, and the second is the East, Easter collection. I just read this. There are donuts and juice downstairs. Thought for the week. We, ne- we never truly get God's amazing grace unless God's amazing grace gets to us first. Please see the bulletin for more information. Do we have any birthdays 
anniversaries, other celebrations in the house coming up this week. All right. Greg, come on down. We'll give you a blessing for anyone who celebrated this week. All right, I invite the rest of the congregation to please stand as we pray over our brother who is celebrating this week. May the peace of God be with you on your special day. May his gifts of grace surround you as you follow in his way. May his blessing rest upon you and his wisdom guide you too. And always in all places, may he love and care for you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. to thank our young people who helped us today with reading and serving and lecturing and commentating and uh, trying to figure out all those long interesting names of the, of the you know our Henriette Galil and Mother Mary Lang and Pierre Toussaint and all those names that uh, that uh, we all uh, we all know and love but thank you guys for uh, for all your support and those who, who of course work with us. Our, our friends from St. John de La Salle's Academy were with us uh, today, so we're thankful uh, for that. Also, very briefly, most of you are probably, or many of you may already be aware of this, but we did uh, finalize uh, late last week the uh, sale of the legacy St. Peter and Paul <laughs> campus. Um, there is now a, uh, a Christian church that has moved in there. Word Works Believers is their name. I, I did stop by uh, on, uh, on Monday because we had to get a couple of last things out of there and, and met with the, uh, with the pastor there and stuff. So uh, uh, they are happy to be in the neighborhood. Um, so, and I will know more after my meeting tomorrow exactly how much uh, financial help that will bring to our parish because uh, that's something that obviously we will need. So, I want to thank you all for your uh, for your prayers during during that process. Um, I'm glad it remained a church. I know it's still difficult for many people who called that a church home for for many years, but I'm glad that it's still a church. Um, mm -hmm. There's still people worshiping God there, um, and hopefully we can uh, can continue to work together as we uh, as we forge ahead uh, on this community. But I did meet them there. They are happy to be uh, to be settling in over there. So I uh, just wanted to fill you guys in on that. In addition to that, as always, uh, please take home a copy of the bulletin for more uh, uh, news and notes on upcoming events and activities going on in our parish and in our community. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bon peace, the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
God's word. But I can truly say that God had made a way and he has never failed me yet. That's why we